Greetings to everyone who is watching and listening to me right about now. I'm here specifically to bless you with another powerful word of encouragement and direction to you. Dear brothers and sisters, it is good to see those that have joined in into this powerful ministry, those that have liked the video, and those that have commented. So if you are new to this channel, I recommend you and I request you to subscribe, turn on all the notifications so that you may never ever miss out on future videos. Remember that every single day I am here praying for you. It is important that you get connected, that I pray for you. I have live streams, live praying for you. So my brothers and sisters, I have a word of direction for you. And remember, you are not watching me by mistake. You have not clicked on this video by coincidence. This video has not been recommended to you by mistake. There's a reason as to why you are watching me right about now. Today's word is from the book of Isaiah chapter 65, verse 22 to around 24. Isaiah chapter 65, verse 22 to 24. What does the Bible say? The Bible says it clear. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree, so shall be the days of my people. And my elect shall long, leave, shall long enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth children for trouble. For they shall be the descendants of the blessed of the Lord, and their offspring with them. It shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are still speaking, I will hear. What a powerful, amazing word. The Bible says it shall come to pass, whether your enemies like it or not, whether your witches like it or not, whether sorcerers like it or not, it is going to pass that before you call, God will answer. Before you even think of calling, God will already give you an answer. Some of you, God has already given you an answer. The answer has already been given to you. So what do you do is to stand on the promises of God. The Bible says the promises of God are yes and amen. In him are yes and amen. That's what the Bible says. And God is not a man that he should lie. And he says that while they are still speaking, I will hear. Some of you think that God does not hear you. You even go ahead and shout while praying. You think that God does not hear. Even while you are whispering, God hears what you are saying. Even when you are out of your voice, some of you, there are times whereby you feel like not speaking. But as you pray in your heart or as you pray as you are whispering, God hears exactly and what you are saying. God is a God that hears his children. He's not deaf. No. He listens to you. He hears to you. Now the Bible says, They shall not build and another inhabit. If there are people that have been taking things from me, some of you have been losing. You have been building on your dreams. And people have been inhabiting your dreams. People have been taking what belongs to you. This word is for you that you shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. No, they are not going to eat your fruits. Some of you, you have miscarriages. You are watching me right now, but you have miscarriages. It's because the enemy has been eating what God has been giving to you. Some of you, the enemy has been eating your children. Your children have uh, been uh taken up by addictions. They've been taken up by drugs. Some of you, drugs are eating you. Addictions are eating you. Smoking. These things are hard for you to come over, overcome. Some of it is a relationship. It is a toxic relationship that is eating your finances. The Bible says, they shall not plant and another eat. Remember, the thief only comes to steal, kill, and destroy. That is the agenda of the thief. 
But Jesus has come that you may have life and have it abundantly. God wants you to have life. God wants you to prosper. He wishes above all things that you prosper and be in good health. So some of you are having a disease that is eating your health. Some of your organs are failing. But I declare and decree that everything that has been eating what belongs to you, it will eat no more. I speak restoration unto you. I pray for someone right now who has been struggling in life. You have struggled with people. You have struggled with spirits. I pray for you right now that just as Jacob overcame, you are going to overcome and your name will be changed. Someone who's watching me right now, I speak healing to you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Right now, every affliction you are going through, I speak deliverance. The Bible says that many are the afflictions of the righteous man, but the Lord delivers him from all. I speak deliverance to you from your enemies, from witches, from monitoring spirits, from problems of this world, from financial problems. Right now, I speak a breakthrough in your life where there seems to be no way. I speak that way. I speak Jesus in you. The Bible says that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Let the way guide you. Let this truth be in you. Anyone that has uh, persecuted you this time around, they will persecute you no more. In Jesus' mighty name. Brothers and sisters, I believe that God is going to restore you. I believe that God has a breakthrough for you. There's a miracle with your name on it. So what you have to do is to have faith in God. The Bible says it clear. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. As you continue to hear these words, these words of love, these words of um, uplifting, these words of encouragement and edification, faith will build up. It is like someone who is building a house. You don't build a house overnight. You start with the foundation. And, the, and, and in this case, in your faith, Jesus is the foundation. If you want to start building on your faith, build on that rock, Jesus. Build on Jesus. Let your foundation be on Jesus. And you'll be able to stand. You'll be able to stand the storms of this world. You'll be able to stand, to stand the wiles of the enemy. You'll be able to stand the fire that is coming up against you. You'll be able to survive. Brothers and sisters, I hope this word has blessed you. I hope it has encouraged you. Keep on praying. Believe in God. Until next time, shalom.